What's up, gang? How's it going? It's Tom from Tiny Build Electrics, back with another weekly tips and tricks video. So today, just a relatively short one, but something that um, is certainly important and certainly should be adhered to. Uh, we try not to go on too much of a deep dive of regulations uh, because we appreciate that some people find those a little bit boring, uh, though we do obviously stress that they are there for a very good reason. They need to be adhered to, they need to be respected. Uh, yeah, they're there for a reason. So one of those things is, for example, if you have a, uh, if you have any 230 volt electrics in your vehicle, uh, then from your shore power AC in point, so on the side of your van, whether that's on the side of your van, whether it's under the bonnet of your van, on the skirt of your van, wherever that may be, uh, the, the, the recommended or the required cable gauge from your shore power inlet up to your consumer unit. So as I say, whether you've got a, an inverter, uh, an inverter charger such as the MultiPlus, or whether you just have a, uh, whether you just have a uh, shore power only consumer unit, then that cable between the shore power inlet and the consumer unit must be a 2.5 millimeter gauge cable. So you can see we've got a big bundle of uh, delicious orange cable here. Uh, a la Tiny Wood Electrics. So yeah, this cable gauge is, uh, is a 2.5 millimeter. This, as I say, is required from your shore power inlet up to your consumer unit, um, whether you have, as I say, a uh, uh, shore power only or a inverter charger. So if you have, depending on what size loads that you're planning to run for your, what's known as your final circuits. So your uh, sockets in your kitchen area, let's say, or the sockets which go down to your, uh, let's just say your heater, like a Truma Combi 4E, let's say, uh, they don't have to be uh, 2.5 millimeter uh, if they don't need to be. So you can, for example, have a, a standard, this is a, what's known as like an Arctic grade uh, 1.5 millimeter. Uh, it's called Arctic grade because it's, uh, it's rated to external temperatures, I believe, of sort of down to minus 40. So it's often used inside vehicles um, that are often exposed to uh, more extreme temperatures. But uh, yeah, this is a, a 1.5 millimeter cable gauge uh, compared to the 2.5 that you just saw in orange there. Now, dependent on the demands on your system, as I say, uh, will depend on what gauge cable that you need to use. But 1.5 millimeter uh, up to 2.5 is to be used for your final circuits, but between your shore power inlet and your consumer unit must be a 2.5. You can't use a 1.5 uh, between your hookup point and your consumer unit because that is not compliant with uh, BS7671, the, uh, the regulations um, with regards to camper vans, uh, motor caravans. So. If you have any questions about the regulations or if you have any questions about what we've discussed today, if you would like us to go into more detail, do let us know. We are more than happy to shoot you over a DM or let you know in the comments. Uh, yeah, if you need help with sizing cables, for example, uh, our system design covers that from start to finish. We have a complete uh, you know, cable sizing charts for all of our customers' loads. Uh, along with recommended MCB sizes or a few sizes for your 12 volt loads, for example. So don't hesitate to give us a shout if you need any help. All the best, have a great day and speak soon.